In the previous video, we had a look at the linear search algorithm, which has a linear time complexity. In this video, let's take a look at the binary search algorithm. Here is the problem statement. Given a sorted array of n elements and a target element t, find the index of t in the array. Return minus 1 if the element is not found. A very important point to make note of here is that binary search only works on a sorted array. If you do not have a sorted array, you can choose to use linear search or sort the array first and then apply binary search. Now the examples we have had a look at in the previous video hold good for binary search as well, so let's reuse them. If you have a sorted array with five numbers, minus 5, 2, 4, 6, and 10, with target element is equal to 10, our solution should return 4 since 10 is at index 4. With the same array and t is equal to 6, our solution should return 3, and with the same array but t is equal to 20, the solution should return minus 1 as 20 is not present in the array. If you have understood the problem statement, Please pause the video and try to solve the problem. Alright, let's now solve the problem together. Before we write the code, let's understand how we should go about this in pseudocode. I have the sorted array on the right and the target element in green. We need to find out the index of number 6 in the array. Here is the pseudocode for binary search. If the array is empty, return minus 1 as the element cannot be found. If the array has elements, find the middle element in the array. If target is equal to the middle element, return the middle element index. If target is less than the middle element, binary search left half of the array. If target is greater than middle element, binary search right half of the array. Let's understand how this translates to the example we have on the right. Step 1. Since the array is not empty, we find the middle element in the array. That is 4. Now 6 is not equal to 4. We then check if target is lesser than the middle element. 6 is not less than 4. It is greater than 4. If target is greater than the middle element, we know that the target element has to lie on the right hand side of the middle element since the array is sorted. So we now perform a binary search on the right half of the array. We start by finding the middle element in the array. When there are two items, the first item is the middle item. We once again check if target is now equal to the middle element. This time it actually is and we return the index of 6 which is 3. I hope you have got a general idea of how binary search works. All you have to do is find the middle element, compare and remove half of the array based on where the target element may lie. If the target is less than the middle element, you can get rid of the second half. If the target element is greater than the middle element, you can get rid of the first half. The middle element serves as a good comparison element to decide which way to narrow down. Alright, now that we have understood how binary search works, let's implement the code in the next video.